as you went to bed last night, you had to have looked outside and saw the moon, right? It looked a little bigger, a little brighter than normal. That's because it's the closest it's been to Earth in almost 70 years, and that close proximity is creating what's called a supermoon. Now, you guys have been sending us incredible images of this phenomenon, but what exactly is it? We're going to take a closer look. And there's all kinds of great perspective, too. You guys have been sending great pictures with that. You know, our moon has been revolving around Earth for roughly four and a half billion years. It's Earth's only permanent natural satellite, making a complete orbit around Earth about every 27 days. Now, the orbit is not a perfect circle, so the distance between Earth and the moon varies. On average, um, it's close to about 240,000 miles, but this November 14th, it is full and it is close to Earth, only 220, 100,000 miles, and that's the closest it has been in over 68 years. So when it's this close to Earth, when it's close to Earth, it's, we call it the perigee, and as a result, the Earth will appear about 14% bigger, 30% brighter. Actually, at perigee, you normally, normally see some tide swings that are a little bit larger than usual as well. So if you have onshore winds, there can be some coastal flooding. Enjoy the super Moon. The next time the moon will be this big will be in 2034, 18 years from now. Now that said, we do get a supermoon once about every 14 months. So you'll see more supermoons, but just this one is exceptionally super because of how close it is to the Earth.